Bridget Reardon from So Common Insight. I hope you're hanging in there during these tough times. As you all know, with this pandemic, our worlds have been turned upside down. And what that has meant for so many of us is that being connected in virtual ways is more important than ever, not just from family and friends perspective, but from your business perspective. And it's our job with uh, networks like ours to make sure that you have the connectivity that you need. And so we have, uh, we're always focused on the network and the health and the care and feeding of that network. Uh, but we're working even harder than ever right now to make sure that, that you stay connected the way you need to be. Um, we've shattered a lot of records or you have shattered a lot of records with uh, the traffic that we're seeing on the network and the usage and that's a great thing. That's what it's there for. Um, and we're happy to say that it's uh, functioning at a very high level. Uh, we're also always focused on giving extraordinary care to our customers, whether it's consumers or businesses. Uh, from a business perspective, especially though, we have worked uh, with our business customers uh, to great lengths um, to support them through this time. And sometimes that means completely reimagining your business. Sometimes that means um, providing things for people who are working from home or from different areas that they didn't have before. So we wanna make sure that all of our customers have the tools they need, the setup they need, the connectivity, the data uh, to get the job done. And we wanna make sure in particular, uh, especially as you look at our front lines, thank you guys all so very much for the important work that you're doing, but we wanna make sure that they are not missing a beat. And that's what it's all about. We turned 110 years old in March, so that means that our company and our communities and our customers, as we know, have been through hard times before. And it also shows us that we have been resilient and we will be again. Take care and we will see you all soon. Hi, I'm Bridget O'Connor, owner and founder of O'Connor Connective. I'm coming to you from our office in downtown De Pere. We're a strategic communication and marketing firm that helps leaders and organizations get results with communication. And we're continuing to serve our clients, most of us from our branch offices, if you will, uh, by providing communication, marketing, PR, media relations remotely. Our training through our social enterprise, The Connective, we're doing virtually. So we are determined to continue to not let this pandemic keep us from helping organizations communicate. One thing that I've often admired and that the Chamber has invited me to share with you is a little bit about how great leaders have used rally cries during crisis. Straight talk with a call to action. It has the power to inspire us, to calm us, and to motivate us to be more than we thought we could be. Today, right now, during this time of uncertainty, what are you choosing to say as a leader? And how might you use your words to create cultural elevation? Cultural elevation at a time when your employees are desperate for leadership, clarity, and direction. Let me give you an example. Remember the 2011 Super Bowl? Of course you do. It was the year that the Packers beat the Steelers. They brought back the Lombardi Trophy to Titletown, uh, and it was just an incredible game. You might not remember the commercials as much because we were sort of distracted um, that year, uh, but it was the year of the imported from Detroit ad by Chrysler. It had the sound of rapper Eminem underscoring Detroit's unwavering ability to rise up following the auto crisis. And looking into the camera with a gospel choir behind him, Eminem said, this is the Motor City and this is what we do. That line shot a bolt of pride, not only through Detroit, but through the nation. Storytelling, your storytelling, your call to action is what will mobilize. You don't need a million dollar ad campaign and you don't need a world famous song, but your team needs your voice. Now is the time for you to find and then apply your rally cry. You might apply it through a call to action as your sign on or sign off at uh, team meetings, virtual or otherwise. Uh, you might share real stories of team members living out your words, whether they're on the front lines or working from home. Whatever you choose, be consistent. Leverage this moment as a time to intentionally lift up those around you to be more.
to do more. Remember, never underestimate the power of your words as a leader, particularly in times of challenge. We're using words as a rally cry with a new initiative created by O'Connor Connective that we're calling Downtown Faces Forward. It celebrates and shines a light on downtown business owners, the faces in front of the storefronts. Um, we're thrilled to have the Chamber, New North, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, definitely to peer, Downtown Green Bay Inc. and others stepping up to be a part. I'd like to invite you to follow Downtown Faces Forward on social media. Uh, you can see the photographs of Mark Hawkins and Alexis Arnold as they introduce you to the faces behind the storefronts that make up our unique downtowns. We then invite you to support those businesses that are being featured by buying and ordering locally, hiring work to be done by local professionals. And if you're able, join me in contributing to fundraising efforts, such as the Downtown De Pere or Downtown Green Bay Small Business Relief Funds. When launching O'Connor Connective, I made the conscious decision to invest in downtown De Pere. And as we grew, we further invested in an additional property to add services to advance local leaders and local organizations. We know firsthand by standing on Main Avenue right now that it is not business as usual, but we will persist. Whether in Green Bay, De Pere, or throughout our region, our downtown faces forward, and we know you do too. I invite you to choose your words and communicate wisely right now so your team too can face forward. So we might all come out of this stronger together because this is Green Bay and there's no question that this is what we do.